Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, my lips look so crazy and weird right now, and I know. Um, what I did for you guys today was a really cool look that I found. Um, I'll show it to you guys when I start the video. It's from Cosmo Cosmopolitan Magazine. But I found the link on Facebook and I fell in love with this makeup artist, how she did all these crazy lips. And I am not an artist. I'm going to throw that out there right now. The only art class I ever took, I failed. So, I wanted to do a Halloween makeup look that was going to be for the person who, one, doesn't want to spend a ton of money on Halloween makeup. Two, is not amazing at the whole art thing, but they love makeup. I love makeup and I love blending and all that kind of stuff. When it comes to, like, fine details, I'm like like shaky, like it doesn't, it, it's not for me. So this is something that I found very obtainable to do. I'm pretty sure anybody can do it. It does take a little bit of time. I did this look about four times before I felt really confident with it. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. This is for somebody also who's like a, I say this like a hundred times in the video, but for somebody who just wants to do something fun for maybe like going out with the girls or going to school or something like that where or work this is a good one for work because it shows that you're creative all that good stuff but it's not covering your face so I didn't show the winged eyeliner in this look but I did realize that it kind of went together it was kind of like a like <laughs> I realized it kind of made me look like a little bit more like goth and more like a spider queen or something I don't know maybe like a black widow so what I just did was I just moisturized my lips and what that's going to do is that's just going to help the next every step go on a little bit better. So like I said, my Mega Line, just my normal everyday winged eyeliner and I'm going to put it on I think with this. We're going to see how this goes. Um, I might just use this kind of touch up areas that need to be touched up. This in place. Okay, so we are going to start. Okay, so we're just gonna help this stay on a lot better. So it just looks like this, which is what I always use. Now that our lips are primed and all that good stuff, I'm gonna now go in with my Sigma eyeshadow base and Persuade. So our lips do come off to be one color. I have really pigmented lips. So it's hard for me to like not have any color in my lips, so we are going to try. So that looks really weird. <laughs> this is the cool part about Halloween makeup is you look nothing like yourself. Like I should probably never wear loop lipstick or like this heavy of shadow ever um eyeshading brush just so it went on a little bit more even and that way I didn't have like different pigments here different pigments there and we're just going to be taking like an eyeshadow brush this um the same one but a clean version this just has this white junk on it or eyeshadow on it from what we did our persuade with so we're just going to put that all evenly all over your lips have a completely nude base and it is one color all the way around. I don't want any more pigmentation um, to come through my lips. I do have very, very, very pigmented lips and I love my pigmented lips, but for this, having really red lips with silver, just, it does not look good. If you need a gold or a silver lip gloss or lipstick or um, costume store one, just because I love the way that this color sits on the lips and I love how pigmented it is on the lips. And I know this stuff will stay on all day with everything that I have on it. I prefer to use the brush that came with this. For some reason, it just picks up the pigments of the um, prep pigments better than if I were to use like, a Sigma brush. So I'm going to spray this with some setting spray. I rate this a little bit better. So we're going to go with that one. We're just going to dip in our brush and we're going to easily use this all over our lips. Um, and try not to get this in this area of your lips. It tends to look white in the lips and it's a mess and it gets up like, try to go with the concealer. So as best as you can, try to keep it out of those 
areas of your lips. Okay, so like I said, I just really love the silver in this color. And we're going to go in a little bit once it is done and we're really going to make it really, really, really pigmented. But I did want to get the base on there before we make the spider. So I'm going to be using two different liquid liners for this. I'm going to be using my Everyday Elf one and my Everyday Mega Line one. Legs first. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take make one slight insert. So it's going to be like... And then we're going to bring that down and connect it at the bottom over here. So as, we, as you can see, I just did it. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. So it's like reaching up a little bit more. Um, at the end, I'm going to go in and fix this. I just want it to dry first before I do. Now we're going to go in and we're going to make we're going to make the top of the little guy. So we're going to do it right in our cupid's bow, and it's going to be kind of weird looking. Big claws coming up. So we're going to start in the middle of our cupid's bow. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So now we have the top of the spider done. And now we're going to do his body on my bottom lip. And this is the part that gets a little bit tricky. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure that this is a very, very, very sharp V. If not, and it tends to be a very skinny V2, if not, it tends to look kind of funky. So I'm going to outline it first, and then I'm going to fill it in. And this is what I'm going to be using this stuff for. This has a little bit of a thicker brush to it, and it really just helps really fill it in. make the big legs that are gonna no we're gonna make the small legs first I'm gonna bring them down to about here they're not gonna be very big and now we're gonna do the bigger lips and they're gonna come down a lot farther I'm gonna make them just like we made them up top what I did was I touched up a little bit um, on the edges and on the sides. And I know, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of weird, but I really like it and I think it's very fun for somebody who, like I said, is going to work, is going to school, and just wants to do something really Halloween-y or even going to a costume party and doesn't want and wants to show that they love makeup but they don't have the time, the money, all that kind of stuff to do like some huge elaborate makeup. So this is my take on this really cool spider lip that I saw um, in Cosmopolitan Magazine. And I will link um, the article below that I found this and I actually found it on someone on um, Facebook. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, so as you can see, this is the look that I posted on my Instagram yesterday. This is my Black Widow inspired look. I found these lips on Facebook. I found it on like a link to a Cosmopolitan post and I fell in love with these because 
One, they're great for someone who's not amazing at fine detail when it comes to art, like me, and it reminded me of the Iggy Azalea song, Black Widow. So, this is what they look like up close. And I don't show the winged eyeliner on my foundation, but it's just my normal winged eyeliner that I always do, and it's just my normal foundation that I always, always, always use. So, I had a ton of fun filming this, and I think this is going to be a great... Um, makeup look for somebody who just wants to do something fun and simple but doesn't have a ton of time to do it, a ton of money to do it, or the artistic skills to do something super elaborate. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Um, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, and I will see you all next time. I love you guys. Bye!